So today's video, we're gonna be talking about two iconic giant rattlesnakes that we have here in North America. And that's the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake and the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. These rattlesnakes are respected as much as they are feared, but did you guys know that they are just as different as the landscapes they inhabit? Today we compare these two iconic rattlesnakes, so make sure you guys stay tuned to check it out. First, let's talk geography. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, or the Crotalus horridus, is a southeastern specialist. Found in your pine forests, your coastal scrublands, and your sandy flatwoods from North Carolina, Florida, and parts of Louisiana. In contrast, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, or the Crotalus atrox, is a desert dweller. Thriving in the arid regions of the southwestern U.S. and northern Mexico, along with Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. These habitats help to shape their behavior and their physical adaptations. For example, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake relies on camouflage and dense vegetation, while the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is built for your scorching deserts and your rocky terrains. Next up is going to be size. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake takes the title of the world's largest species of rattlesnake. Adults can reach up to about 5 to 7 feet, with some individuals exceeding eight feet in length, and these snakes can weigh up to 15 pounds. While the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake is still a formidable and pretty large rattlesnake, they only come in around four to five feet, and they have a little bit more slender of a build on them compared to your Eastern Diamondback. Both species have their signature diamond-shaped patterns, but look closely, the Eastern Diamondback's diamonds are darker with more distinct cream-colored borders, while your Western Diamondback's diamonds have a lighter, sometimes faded appearance. And don't forget their tails. Eastern Diamondbacks have black bands, whereas the Western Diamondback's bands alternate between black and white, giving it a raccoon-like tail. When it comes to temperament, both of these snakes are defensive rather than aggressive. However, the Western Diamondback is known to be more confrontational, it's quicker to rattle and stand its ground, a behavior that might be linked to its more open, exposed habitat. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, on the other hand, prefers to stay hidden and avoid confrontation whenever possible. Now let's talk venom. Both of these rattlesnakes have a hemotoxic venom, which destroys your blood cells and your tissues. However, being a larger rattlesnake, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake delivers way more venom than what your Western Diamondback can. And this makes the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake more venomous, but they are still highly venomous snakes regardless. So they should never be approached in the wild. Make sure you keep a safe distance and always admire that animal from afar. So as long as you do that, you should be good. In terms of diet, both of these rattlesnakes are ambush predators feeding on small mammals, birds, and small reptiles. However, their habitat does play a factor in what they eat. So your Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes often eat more rabbits and squirrels compared to your Western Diamondback, which are probably looking more for lizards and kangaroo rats. Both species face threats from habitat loss, road mortality, and human persecution. The Eastern Diamondback in particular is considered near threatened due to shrinking pine forests and urbanization. Conservation efforts are critical to ensure the survival of these incredible reptiles for sure. So while the Eastern Diamondback and the Western Diamondback do share the title of Diamondback, they are very unique compared to their habitats and locations of where they're found. Size to behavior and venom, these rattlesnakes are great examples of nature's adaptability. Which one of these reptiles surprised you guys the most? Make sure to let us know down in the comments. And if you want to see more reptile content like this, make sure you hit that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.